Hello everyone, this is Minecralix here, and in today's video I will unbox and review the Seagate Barracuda internal desktop hard drive, and in this case I'm reviewing the Seagate 2 terabyte model. Now in front of me I have the package that came through mail, well not really mail but I actually got it through FedEx but that's a different story. I bought it off Newegg for about approximately $109 or so. Uh, so now let's look inside the box. It has these um, air pillows here, uh, my order invoice and inside this box is the um, hard drive itself so now let's see now let's take a look inside here and see what's inside okay now that we got that big box out of the way we can now start unpacking the hard drive now this is I have it right here and I'll use my rudimentary scissors to try and pry open the seal. Behind here we can see some instructions written in different languages including Russian and some other languages uh, which I do not really know what are. Well there's some uh, there's Spanish and just some other uh, German and just some other languages so let me just open it right here. This is the official seal of Seagate because it's a Seagate I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and now I actually what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pry open with my fingernail right here. Now, I, it, this is a bit hard to open for some reason because they're really made to be hard to open just so nobody really opens them in the store or something. But looks like we are able to cut through right here and there we go, we got it off. So now I can actually go and take a look inside the box right here and this is actually the first time I'm opening a Seagate hard drive so um, it's as much of an experience for me as for you. So now inside we can see this little plastic thing right here if you can see that well. Uh, now that we take that out, we can see that this thing just kind of comes off right here. Let's just put it away out into the side here and now we can actually see the casing of the hard drive. So there we go guys, this is the Seagate 2 terabyte HDD, and I don't know if you can see this well, but it says desktop HDD, uh, I do not really see where it says, um, where it says 2 terabytes, but this is definitely 2 terabytes, uh, in addition inside here we have a manual on how to use the hard drive, there you go, desktop in some different languages, uh, I think the reason it's so, um, so big is because it has a bunch of languages in it and yes so you can see that it has all of these languages the limited warranty is available on all these languages starting from uh, Russian, Portuguese um, there's a uh, Hebrew, uh, some Asian languages um, there we have a uh, Portuguese, uh, Netherlands, even Arabic and of course English uh, so that's the limited warranty there now we have our desktop HDD manual here, and this is exactly what I'm going to use it for, where it says internal storage upgrade. And there we go, guys. It has a bunch of instructions on where to put it and stuff, but of course I already know, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hard drive out of its casing right here and then come back in a short while. Okay, now we have removed the hard drive from its plastic anti-static housing. It was actually much easier to remove it than I had previously thought, because if you can see here, there are these little um, kind of raised thingies through which I can rip the pack up with my hands. It's kind of on those like um, one-use packs of snacks or something, and I did not even use scissors to open this because these are specially made to be... Um, open very easily. Now this is the hard drive itself as you can see desktop HDD. On the bottom here it says 2 terabytes Seagate.com and the connection through which it goes SATA AF. Uh, then on the back of course we have the controller um, and it is quite heavy, it feels very very sturdy so this is definitely a great hard drive. Now we can see this is where the hard drive is actually going to spin so we can see that the disk is right here. It's a three and a half inch hard drive, just a standard one if you did not know that. Um, right here are the, actually the SATA data connectors right here through which the hard drive will be connected. Um, and yeah, what I think I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to reorient my camera so that it's facing the computer so I can show you the installation and how it actually works. So 
See you in a while. Hello and welcome back. It has been quite a while before I since last filmed. I have moved over to my PC and installed the hard drive. I thought about making a video of me actually installing the hard drive itself, but it was fairly difficult to mount the camera. Um, and I just did, didn't want to have a low quality footage of that. And if you need help mounting a hard drive, then the inside the box of the hard drive there is a manual that shows you with pictures exactly how to do it. So now that I have mounted, installed, and formatted the hard drive, I'm looking at Crystal Disk Info 7.0.3. So this is my 2 terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive, as we can see with the serial number starting with ST. Um, now I don't really know what the firmware serial number uh, interface, well I think I know what uh, serial AT, ATA is. Uh, then of course the transfer mode is SATA. Uh, I gave the drive letter F. I named it secondary drive just because it is my secondary hard drive. The rotation rate is 7200 RPM and it has been on for 8 hours. Um, now my operating disk which is uh, WD1 terabyte hard drive has been already on for 3 1059 hours and is holding up fairly well. I did copy some files to the hard drive itself and here as you can see I have my local disk right here. Um, this used to be filled up to the brim like it was 92% filled. It was filled up to about I think it only had it only had like 60 gigabytes of free space and now it has 693 gigabytes of free space and the reason for that is because I took out all of my videos and photos and put them over to my secondary drive which is right here uh, now don't mind this is just this is just my uh, Toshiba external hard drive that has 298 gigabytes that's a different story so this is the hard drive itself as you can see let's go into properties right here um, it holds 1.81 one terabytes of course it does say that it holds two terabytes but that is in gigabytes and this is giga gi, uh, gigabytes um, it's very confusing and I actually don't understand it myself but the cap the real capacity of the hard drive will be quite less than what you expected and two terabytes is actually 1.81 terabytes um, in reality so I filled this up with 613 gigabytes of photos and videos. Uh, my Bandicam folder is all on here, and if anyone is a YouTuber here and have has worked with some re screen recording software like Bandicam, which I have right here, uh, so this is what I use to film my videos and stuff. And I have my Bandicam folder dragged over right here, and all my pictures right here, and that makes up the 600 gigabytes that are on here. So. I just basically put a bunch of crap on here. I have useless videos, useless movies, uh, thousands of photos, and just stuff like that, which is the whole reason why I bought this hard drive. Uh, now, installing it was quite simple. Um, I did actually connect it with the SATA and made sure that there is a fan that is blowing on it just to make sure that it does not overheat. And looks like we're doing quite well with the temperature over here. Uh, now I do recommend uh, installing and down downloading and installing C tools for Windows, which is great for checking the integrity of your hard drive life. So it's scanning for supported drives. Uh, please wait. Then I have to accept to this agreement real quick. And right here we can see all of the hard drives that are currently connected to my computer. Now this is the hard drive that I just installed. Before you do with it, uh, before you do anything with it, I recommend when you plug it in, I recommend going into the BIOS or uh, UEFI in my case and making sure that the UEFI can actually detect that the hard drive is connected. I do some basic tests on it, such as uh, just fix all smart check, short drive, self test. Uh, I read the drive information, short generic, long generic, and some advanced tests. Now I won't do this right now because some of these tests take quite a long time to complete and I don't want to bore you guys out. So I'll just go ahead and read some of the drive information. Now we can see that the annualized workload rate is 727.89 terabytes per year. Lifetime bytes written, that means how much I have written onto the hard drive in its whole lifetime. The cache size is 64 megabytes, and just a bunch of useful information. This can also be saved to file by clicking the bottom down here. So um, by, by clicking this button right here, you can save this to a log file if you ever need it. 
Um, and actually, first when I plugged it in, this C Tools program was able to see the hard drive, but I could not see the hard drive in Windows Explorer. Now, I don't install hard drives very often, so I was kind of confused by that, but it's actually quite simple to have the hard drive come up in File Manager. Um, and the reason for that is because it doesn't come up because you have not yet allocated the space for the hard drive. And to do that, I just go into System Tools right here, Microsoft System Tools, and Disk Management. As soon as Disk Management opens up, it's going to take a while to load depending on how fast your processor is. And then we can see all the, all the hard drives here. Um, now here's my disk right here, and this is called disk one. Um, my operating disk is called disk zero, and um, d this is how some computers work. Uh, disk one is actually disk zero, and then the the second disk that you have is called disk one. So right here we see that it's a secondary drive, and um, it has a primary partition here. Now before I had actually formatted this disk, what it said here is it said that none of the 1,862.89 gigabytes is allocated. So I just left click right here and I press format. Now I won't press it because I'm going to lose a crap ton of videos and photos so I'm not going to format it right now which would really suck because I would lo lose a lot of information so I just formatted, formatted the drive through here. You can also format the drive through uh, the BIOS or UEFI, but I just prefer seeing the visual aesthetic of the uh, Windows Disk Manager. Now, as far as Crystal Disk goes, I'm going to run some other tests on it. Right here, I got my Portable Apps Launcher, which is a really great um, program uh, or interface onto which I can install a bunch of portable apps. Now, I go to Crystal Disk Mark. So, I'm going to open up Crystal Disk Mark real quick, and we can see how fast... Uh, yeah. Looks like my crystal disk mark is corrupted, but what I had in mind is I was going to test... What I had in mind is I was going to test the hard drive. Oh, it actually did open up, so I'm going to go over to my F drive, and then we can see how much percent of it is filled up. Now, it's 33% percent filled up and the C drive is 25 percent filled up I was able to actually choose a drive letter for it and I decided to name it F just because uh, I like that letter for my drives now let's use just one gigabyte uh, five and just let's run all these tests and we can get a perspective of how fast this drive is now in terms of speed I wouldn't say that this is uh, a really quick hard drive and I would not say that it's too slow when transferring videos and photos from my um, my original hard drive drive C to my newly formatted hard drive it ran at a speed of about 100 or so megabytes per second I was expecting a bit more but I would not say it's uh, slow and for the price it is definitely a great investment if you do want the added speed I do recommend buying an SSD but of course for storing large amounts of uh, files such as videos and photos I do not recommend buying an SSD because SSD space is very expensive so I think I'll just cut filming here and as soon as that's finished I'll just start filming once more and you can see how fast this hard drive really is okay now that crystal disk mark has completed the test on the hard drive we can now see approximately how fast the hard drive is I would not say it's I would not say it's too fast, but of course, what can we expect for a 7,200 RPM hard disk? And for the price and durability of this hard drive, I do recommend this hard drive to a friend, and I would recommend that you buy it. If you do want to buy this hard drive, you probably should buy it while it's on sale on Newegg. I think right now it, it's something like $40 off or something, but in general I am very highly satisfied with the hard disk now I have not used it for longer than a week or so and it might fail in a few weeks or so or in a few months or so and if it does I will update this video but so far I am very satisfied with the disk itself and with the price of it I would strongly recommend this disk to anyone who wants to buy it so yeah, thank you for watching. This is Minecraft. I hope you found this information helpful and see you all in the next video.